In this video, I'm going to present the two feature-based machining strategies available in MasterCAM, FBM Mill and FBM Drill. MasterCAM's feature-based machining, FBM, allows you to program a solid part faster by eliminating the processes involved in identifying the solid features. FBM Mill analyzes a solid part, detects all machining features in a specified plane, and automatically generates all the 2D milling toolpaths necessary to completely machine the solid. Similar, FBM Drill automatically detects holes in a solid based on your specified criteria and generates a complete series of drilling and chamfering operations for the detected features. These are some of the main advantages of the FBM milling and drilling. FBM eliminates the manual process involved in programming solid parts. You can set up the FBM operation defaults to be used on similar parts. Complex parts can be programmed in a very short time. Toolpaths created by FBM are standard Mastercam toolpaths and users can modify them as needed. Machinists who are new to Mastercam can let FBM do the pocketing, contouring and drilling of a solid model for them. To demonstrate Mastercam FBM mill and uh, FBM drill strategies, I'm going to machine a die shoe part. I will start with the FBM milling and set the parameters to face the part, machine all the pockets and circle mill the larger holes. To start FBM mill from the toolpath ribbon, you can expand the gallery and select FBM mill. In the setup page, automatic initial feature detection is enabled. I also instruct Mastercam from where I want the tools to be selected and I set up a finish for the outside profile. In feature detection, I instruct Mastercam to mill holes that are larger than one inch in diameter. You can select facing tools, roughing tools, rest mill tools if needed and of course finish tools. You can set up the parameters for facing, roughing, and finish walls. And you can also set how you want to mill um, holes that are larger than one inch in diameter. In our demonstration, I just use the circle mill uh, toolpath. You can set up the heights where the tool has to retract between uh, features that need to be machined. All the parameters are set, I just need to generate the toolpath. You notice that the programming time was quite fast. Very few changes in the parameters might be needed depending on how you want the toolpath to be generated. For a thorough checking, I will select all the operation and start Mastercam Simulator. and run uh, Verify. Everything looks okay. Next, I'm going to demonstrate feature-based machining drill. In the FBM drill, I'm going to demonstrate how Mastercam automatically selects and machine all the holes that are detected in the solid. You are also going to see how uh, you can set some of the holes to be rimmed and others to be tapped. I'm going to uh, start the FBM drill from the toolpaths ribbon. In the setup uh, page, the automatic initial hole detection is enabled. In the hole detection, I want to include blind holes and include chamfers, and I want to limit the search to the top plane. In the spot drilling, I'm going to uh, enable spot drilling and make sure that I'm using a three quarters uh, spot drill for chamfering. 
I want the pre-drilling to be enabled because I want uh, the system to automatically create the uh, pilot uh, holes. No hole milling that was done in the um, FBM mill tools. I want uh, Mastercam to use uh, the default tool library. And in the linking parameters, uh, all the heights where the tool needs to retract are already set up. I also have additional breakthrough for through holes. And I also set up the adjust for tap and rim. Uh, next, I want the system to detect all the features. And I want to set up, for example, the 3 8 holes to be uh, rimmed uh, 3 8 I'm going to select the hole type rim. And I will make sure that I have the finish tool set up to rimmer 3 8 Similar, I'm uh, setting the 15 30 second diameter holes to be uh, tapped with a half an inch tap. And I'm going to find next uh, 0 0.201 diameter holes. And I'm going to set the finish tool to be a uh, Tap right hand, quarter of inch, 20 inches per thread, tap. Once all the parameters are set, I can generate the toolpath. Next, I'm going to select all uh, the operations and run Mastercam Simulator for the last time. As you can see, all the holes have been uh, machined with the appropriate tools. In conclusion, traditional CAM programming of a complex 2D part can take hours, especially if the part includes nested pockets and faces in different planes. All programmers, new and experienced alike, benefit from the time saved with FBM.